Hello there folks and welcome back to Dark Souls, the only game where loading screens show you the way. Uh, yeah, in the last episode we came from up in that general direction where a flying Batman creature just generally dropped us off. Uh, one of those in fact, I do believe, was a... Uh... There's lots of them. They have friends, isn't that nice? Yeah, they dropped us down here. And uh, we came from down there, went into the church over yonder I do believe. Ran along some rooftops, uh, came down, and activated a bridge, and that brought me to here. Now, there were originally two giants when I got up here, but I've killed them. Uh, in fact, I've done pretty much the entirety of Anor Londo. I'm going to give you guys a brief tour, so to speak. Give you a general idea of what's going on. Now, when we first came through, we were supposed to go this way, because the big double doors you've just seen that are open were currently locked at the time. The chicken off is going to harass me when I try and show you guys this. I think they stay down there, don't they? Yeah, I think I stay down there. Cool. Uh, basically, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one of these bridges uh, just a bit further over where the spear guy spear is just about poking out. Um, the idea being that you go down that way. Uh, take out the spear guys if you want to. I didn't. I actually just ran straight past them. There's another bridge that goes out to the left of that weird structure. Uh, with two knights firing giant spears instead of arrows at you, which isn't particularly nice of them. Uh, run up there. Uh, I basically just ran at the one guy, and he did a weird backwards jump to get out of my way. Seriously, he was, I, I was like, ah, I'm coming through! It's like, fuck! Jump backwards, and, you know, ah, oh, that bitch be crazy! And, uh, left to his own doom. It was amazing. I kind of wish I'd been recording it now. Uh, but I'm been having a lot of trouble with my Porsche lately. This is the first time in about two days I've got it to work properly. Anyway, I uh, went through there, did some stuff, through a series of rooms just full of silver knights, and eventually came to this guy, who I'll introduce you to in but a moment. The first thing I'm going to do, however, is charge back up these long ass stairs. I don't get this, but this place seems to have been built for, you know, like I say, uh, I don't know if I actually said actually. But it, it seems to have been built, generally speaking, for giants. And yet every now and again you'll come across sections that are clearly designed for normal sized people to walk around in. I don't know if maybe the giants were the rulers and just us ordinary folk were like servants of some sort? Ah, Silver Knight down there I haven't killed yet. Uh, but yeah, when you get through the rooms with all the Silver Knights in, you come out over there. You can run around and um, get back to over here. You can either go down there and kill the Silver Knight and... Or you can ignore him and ignore the two giants like I did and just open the big double doors to make getting back in here much easier. And day speaking, you don't need to open the double doors. Once you've found the blacksmith dude and open that little gate that I ran through to get here, you can just keep running up this way, really. Hello, now, I found something interesting. Do you remember that sword that I plus 10 to try and give myself a decent uh, physical attack uh, damage weapon? Apparently, if I do this and combine it with the soul of Quelag, it gives me a unique sword with quite a ridiculous amount of fire damage. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if it, fire damage is particularly good, but my pyromancy is fairly decent. It, well, it's stronger than my magic at this point. So I'm hoping, especially if I, you know, plus one it, that'll actually be worth having. See, this is the thing, because you can't do save slots and stuff for this game, I am slightly paranoid that I'm going to find out this sword is absolutely fecking useless. I can buy a Twinkling Titan out from this guy. Cool. Um, I did also max out my uh, my magic katana using this guy as well. And while I'm here, he's supposed to have some special arrows. I've never. Ah, there we go. Moonlight arrows. No idea what they are or what they do. But I do eventually want to try and buy a couple. They're really expensive, so I'm hoping they're actually worth it. Probably not knowing my luck, but. You know, a man can hope. He also sells the. Uh, the giant armor as you just saw. Not gonna bother with it, doesn't seem particularly worth it, I've spent so much time maxing out everything I've got. Though I could still do with farming a few extra things really. Hmm. Hey there guys, how's it going? We're basically on the other side of the balcony from where the giant blacksmith is. Uh, I did go back and farm some extra things to level up this sword a bit more. Uh, first silver knight I tried it out on, it basically did little to no damage to him. Did about 80 year swing, which is pathetic. Even my magic katana was doing better than that. And, uh, for some reason, the silver knight seemed. What the fuck is that? 
I thought no demon. Here, I mean, it's creepy, weird, whistling, breathing thing. Uh, but yeah, wasn't doing really much damage, so went farmed a few more souls, upgraded it again. It's now level. Uh, it's even level two or level three. Come down here, asshole. Nah, you can't get me at this elevation, can you? Same as the Boulder Knights and, um... Oh, fuck, he hit me. Oh, he hit my shield. Nice job. You show that wall who's boss. And fucking... Wait for it. Take it, son! Damn it, missed. And again, take it. Excellent. Hey, it's best when he does the frosty attack, because the frosty attack does... Look at that! I had to spin round in a little fancy maneuver, that was weird. Uh, will you just piss off already? One, try me. And again! Bugger boss. I don't know if you guys didn't respawn like the other ones I've encountered. Like the ones I encountered, like Dark Root and stuff, they didn't respawn after I killed them once. Why do these guys? Then again, this is basically their home, right? They're supposed to be Gwen's guardians or whatever. Actually, speaking of Gwen, I've got a question. This is this supposed to be his fortress city, right? You know, his very own Camelot, that sort of thing. So why... In the name of anal buggery, is it infested with insane monsters? In fact, where is Gwen? Yeah, I could have stand him, you know, saying he doesn't want to see me because he assumes I'm just some random undead that got carried in to, you know, be pigeon food or... I see you there. Don't think I don't see you. I wonder. Can I take advantage of Dark Souls' shitty, shitty clipping detection to hit you through the wall? As a couple of your friends have hit me. Not gonna take any notice of the giant. Oh, it works! Fuck, he got me back though! You little prick. You can't cheat me out as I'm cheaping you out. Then again, this entire game cheats you out. Juicy. I know I keep whinging about it, but you're probably gonna hear me whinge about it a lot. I don't like the fact the enemies can clip through walls to attack you. That's not. That's not well thought out design. Especially not when they do as much damage as they do. There's been a couple of instances where enemies I don't even know are there that I haven't seen and so there's sure as fuck no way they could have seen me. Would have suddenly swing, you know, a giant axe straight through a wall and take out half my health off in a single swing. You feck off already, mate. Yeah, I think I need my character to be slightly lighter than this. I think this armor is slightly too heavy. It's not heavy enough to make me do like the big clumsy roll. It seems to be heavy enough that it's slowing down my movement speed to the point where I can't get round these fuckers to backstab them. I'm getting my ass handed to me here. I'm quite lucky he went for a shield stomp instead of a, a sword thrust there. Fucking Jesus, man. It's just not scaled very well, the damage they can do with that shield... uh... bonk thing. You fuck off already. You're starting to piss me off now. Yeah, where was I? Yeah, I've got some questions to ask Gwen. He's really not doing a very good job of keeping his city safe. Then again, pretty much everywhere is infested with the undead at this point. I wonder though, did the whole undead phenomenon s Oh, it's you! Winnie! How you doing, mate? Perhaps you can tell me. Did the undead phenomenon start in this godforsaken country or what? I'm seriously wondering what's going on here. You again? Let me get. It's me! Were you repelled by the Silver Knights? No. I killed him. Tis the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. Are you actually going to help me, or does that just mean I'm going to have to do all the work and later on you'll talk about how you could have helped? No. Maybe five bodies. Hmm. Quite a fix indeed. It's really not, though. Look, I've got a big flamey sword of destiny. It's made of spider parts and chaos and shit. Let me show you. Silver Knight, yeah? Right. Ooh, he's a spear. Ooh, he's got a mate. It's a spear guy and his friend. And that could. Oh, fuck! Run! Run, Barbara! You sneaky little fucker. Right, come on, onto the stairs. Don't do it, Anakin. I have the high ground. Peekaboo! Mm, oh, there isn't very much to those stairs, is there? I was expecting more room to get ready for that. Oh well. Uh, like a boss! Ah, miss me, dickhead. God damn it! I do hate the fact sometimes they spin round on like a dime to face you. Fuck off already! The 
Good job that was the end of his swing, actually. He actually could have done a fair bit of damage. Oh, I did find out as well that um, when you're defending with the grass shield, it doesn't uh, regen your stamina faster than normal. Re your stamina regens at normal speed if you're currently using it to Oh, fuck off. If you're actively using it to defend. The moment you drop the shield, your stamina flies up. That does mean you've got to grab distance and whatnot from your enemy. Either that or no. Fuck off! Stop spinning round like that. You are not a ballerina. Okay, you've got to grab distance from your enemy like this in order to, uh, rapid regen your stamina. Which sure takes away the whole point of rapid regening, doesn't it? I mean, I, I would assume the point of rapid regening your stamina is so that you could... Oh, well, kill them in the end anyway. Yeah, I would have assumed the whole point of it was that, uh, you could endure a longer battle. If you still have to run away to regen stamina, same as you would if you were using a normal shield, then what's the point? I wanna try. There's two of you in there, and I don't wanna attract both of you at once, really. Just in case you have noticed, I've got a shit ton of arrows. So I went and bought pretty much as many as I could. Ooh, 31! Excellent! Upgrading the longbow is definitely worth it. I'm now not doing like 9 damage an arrow. Excellent. Still not, you know, particularly good, because unless they're miles and miles away from me, it's never going to be useful, but yeah, works. Fuck, speaking of work, the backstab actually took. See, for some reason, I've not been able to do a proper backstab in ages. Every time I try it, Barbara just swings her sword. She doesn't, despite, you know, being in the right position and everything, she doesn't do the backstab. That's the first time she's done one in ages. Fucking A. I mean, it literally doesn't help that I've been... Slightly too heavy to get round the back of most characters in a while, but still. And the point remains. I've got a massive, massive headache forming. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, I haven't even got to the boss yet. Come on, come on. Got some lemonade around here somewhere. Yeah, I'll have to wait till I've killed you when I have to take it. Run, Barbara! Lure him back out into the open. Actually, I wonder, is there a, there seems to be a ring for most things, is there a ring or a piece of armour that makes you um, lighter than normal, just out of curiosity? I mean, I know there's, um, I there's supposed to be a ring, I've been told, that does what my shield does. So I could equip that and still have the stamina regen, but a better shield at the same time. I'll say better, one that's got, uh, you know, a full physical defence and uh, some better magic defence, stuff like that. In which I love my grass shield, that 96% uh, damage reduction, especially against some of the stronger enemies, can be a pain in the ass. because even if you block, they take off a not inconsiderable amount of your health. Chest. You evil? No, you're not evil. Excellent. Far too many evil... Ooh, Demon Titanite. I can use that to upgrade my sword even further. Excellent. What's out here? I can't remember where this is. Okay, um... Tell you what, let's turn in the, uh, the quest, as it were. Very much Dragon's mm -hmm. Dogma like this. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey there, mate, I solved your problem. Oh, Give me oh, shit. Friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Did you not just notice me running past? I'm saved! This night... Give me honey. Katarina hereby commends you. Take this. As a token of my gratitude. It's gonna be honey. Or a tiny beans ring, whatever. It's like a pinky ring. Hmm? Oh, you were trying to say something to me. What is it, mate? Gallantry entails great risks. My well, sword's like right through your gut. Give me a chance to come up with a plan. Really? You're gonna dick me out about doing all the work for you? Really? Why is it even the nicest characters in this game are pricks at the same time? Small increase in HP. Nah, I don't care. I'm gonna stick with my ring of favor and protection that boosts, you know, pretty much everything. Although I gotta admit, even with the favor and protection ring on, I'm still getting my ass handed to me far too often. I might actually start having to plug some, um, some soul points into vitality at this rate. Because things aren't going well, and I really could do with having the ring slot, you know, back again. Wow, that's slow for a giant spear. Well, that fucked that up. I was trying to do the jump attack while you were busy switching weapons. Or oh, whatever. You're just gonna knob off and go. 
We dancing, are we? Uh, do si do stab your partner in the spleen. Nope. And stab. Or not. Or you can just stand there and completely ignore my command. Just You can't block with a bow, that's bullshit. He wasn't blocking very well, but still. Okay, backstab this time. Or not. Thank you, Barbara. It's nice to know you were pretending to take what I was telling you to do into consideration. God damn it. Wait a second, I was blocking, wasn't I? You shouldn't have been able to hit me. No, oh, whatever. Fuck you, guy. That's my last Estus flask. There's at least... At least one more of you before the, uh... The bonfire I want to show you guys. You see, normally, this stairway ahead of us, you'd have to, um... There's a bunch more in there somewhere as well. Yeah. You have to run up here. Uh, those are both mimics. Both this chest over here and the one on the other side are mimics. I'm not going to bother killing them. It's just a pain in the ass, really. What's in here? Oh. Um. Yeah. Hi. I'm, I'm going this way now. Fucking hell. Sushi. The silver knights with the spears. They scare me more than any enemy I've yet encountered. They've got all the ridiculous HP, the shielding ability, the stupid knockback thing that takes all your stamina off you, and the ridiculously long and accurate reach of the spears. But anyway, uh, you should, you were supposed to even, um, come up the stairwell from the bonfire, go through the one door that I said had a bunch of silver knights in it, up another set of stairs that would bring you up onto the rooftop, where you saw me fight all those silver knights, then you go from there onto the balcony. And up on the balcony was where you get your access to uh, the giant blacksmith. You knob off, mate. Damn it, slightly too far to your right to... Uh... Wow, you just stood there and let me combo you to death. Thank you. That was jolly kind of you, really. That's the kind of jolly cooperation we like around here. Uh, spear knight in there. This is the bonfire room. Uh, actually, no. I'll show you guys where you actually get into here to start with. Do, do, do. Now remember I said you fight the spear archer guy? Now he's up there and around the corner, so he can't actually see me at this point. But yeah, once you kill him, you gamble off that balcony onto this one, like so. Uh, run through here, and the bonfire room is a... Uh... <laughs> oh, there's some twinkling titanite behind that guy. Uh... Bonfire Knights here, and also Solaire is really just randomly chilling out around here. If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. I'll be trying to for the rest of my life, Solaire. <laughs> You're so crazy. Anywho, uh, oh, I also bought a bunch of stuff from the blacksmith. That means I can now upgrade my own weapons just by sitting in a bonfire kind of thing. I can repair stuff as well. Which is useful. It'd be even better if I could just like, I don't know, like telephone, order, materials through the bonfire. That'd be even better. I'm guessing From Software didn't feel like being that kind. Alright, see you in a bit, guys. Yeah, excellent. Now, I don't know what point I'm actually going to cut this recording in. But basically, remember that Kainite Demon that I mentioned right near the entrance to the balcony? Uh, the balcony that overlooks uh, the inside of the keep or church or whatever it is. I decided to come back here, and if you stand in this position after drawing him towards you... Yeah, excellent. He's just about close enough to the door. If you'd hit him with arrows, but stay out of his aggro range. You can do a similar thing with the giants in the uh, cathedral. If you stand outside the double doors and fire at them with arrows, they don't aggro. Because you're outside of their attack area. Even though you are hitting them. Uh, other than the tight knight, is there anything actually worthwhile in here. I've got a lot of souls on me again, haven't I? Not enough to level up, I don't think, but... Hmm, might be worth going back to the blacksmith before I attempt the boss and getting some extra stuff to upgrade my, uh... my armour and whatnot. Oh, I never did say, did I? The iron leggings I've got here, got them from the bottom of the church. Show you later. Okay, boss. You're mine. I did consider... Switching over to my uh, black iron armor because it's got a much higher defensive rating than anything I've got, even on upgraded. 
Though it made me so heavy my character could barely move. So yeah, I thought, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit in the ass. I don't know why I'm going around the edge. I've already killed the two giants in here. Just force of habit, I guess. Uh, I don't think I've killed the Silver Knight, though. We didn't even see yours there. <laughs> uh, that's attention to duty, mate. Ooh, message. Any helpful tips? <laughs> oh, that's reassuring. Alright, cool, let's do this. Got seen ahoy. And drinking ahoy. Hey, it's the guy from the statue. I know you. <gasps> it's the other guy from the statue. Man, you guys famous and shit. Um, can I have your autograph? I'm guessing that's a no then. Well, fine. Fuck you! Jesus fucking... Sonic, you got it. Ow, bollocks! Ow! That was my ass to Fucking... Guys, calm down. I said, aren't you guys supposed to be Lord Gwen's protectors or, you know, his loyal knights and what? Fucking! What the hell are you on? Why am I suddenly playing, um, Dead Space again? The speedy fuckers. Ah, miss me, dickhead. Nice try, though. Ah, Boxy's doing it again. Run! He just randomly stops doing the attack. That's helpful for me. You know, again, this is supposed to be your boss's house, right? I'm pretty sure he's not going to be impressed by you repeatedly smashing his place to bits. Fuck off! Ah, oh, he missed. Excellent. Take a fire slash to the balls for almost 300 damage. Nice! Ow! It would help if your friend wasn't poking me in the ass. Oh, he does lightning powers. Excellent, of course he does. Fuck! Ah, missed me! Actually worked out nicely. The shockwave of the hammer attack knocked me over. And that, thus the lightning attack completely missed me. Excellent. I don't know you guys. Ow! How can you stab a spear through solid stone? Then again, how can you make a spear glow with lightning? How can he be that fat? These are all questions the Dark Souls raises. Miss me again, Dickwad. Uh, no, 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 no lightning. And uh, dodge. Nah, I tricked you. It'd be so much better if enemies could hurt each other. Then I could get you know Hammer Guy to smush this one flat. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, it'd be nice to try. And then dodge! Or not. He's, well, Dark Souls did completely ignore my button push, but as it turns out, it doesn't matter. Yeah, cool. Okay. Why on earth would you have armor that has man boots? So I'm assuming that's your armor. Beer again, you guys are supposed to be Lord Gwen's protectors, right? Now, I can assume. The fuck? What happened? No, I'm quite serious. What happened? A giant flaming arrow just suddenly speared me to the ground. What happened? How did that happen? I mean, this guy's got lightning power, so I know it wasn't him. So who the fuck fire attacked me? Oh, crap. So, like, is it going to be another case of, um... Uh, what's his face? I was told that the channeler that's in the depths, he can power up the gaping dragon, can't he? Is there something similar around here? Is there an archer somewhere that I didn't kill that I was supposed to? Is he going to be firing at me throughout the entirety of this boss fight? Because I don't need anyone else trying to Ow! Fuck! I don't need anyone else trying to attack me at this point. If I can try and get the original... Where are you going, mate? I'm very impressive, but... Fuck! Actually, that worked out nicely. The hammer attack would have done much more damage than you sit hitting me in the back of your spear did. Ah, uh, really, really fucked up that roll. You knock it off! Do not get to infinite combo me, asshole. Nah, I missed. What a loser. Uh, ah -ha, ah -ha, ah -ha. Uh, okay, I take it back. You're not a loser. Fuck. Damn it. You know, what have I said, Dark Souls, about clipping through solid objects? Fuck you, fatso. Nah, you missed me. And again. And again. And... Or not. To became temporarily invisible when he did his jump. Invisible? Invincible. God damn it, I know you're stressed, but get the words right. Ow! You know, someone really needs to have a word with that guy about his super homing attack. It's really, really annoying. Speaking of annoying, hi there. Ow! Oh, quite, you phase straight through your mate there. That's hardly fair. And run, Barbara! Here! No. No, no, no. Oh, fuck, lights are flashing on the apogee. No, no, no! 
Hope you're enjoying this still screen as much as I am. Okay, take 16 or so at this point, I don't even know. Oh, fuck off. No one's impressed by you. Ah, stand there, that's right. Well, your friend can't hit me, but I can hit you. I can stagger you with a re-hit combo. And because my shield's not technically active, I should get all my stamina back pretty damn quickly by two-handing. Ha ha ha, I'm gonna die. Or not! Fuck, I did it! I did it! Only 16 pissing attempts. How do you like me now, client face? Ooh. What do you feel about me killing your boyfriend? Dude, harsh. Oh great, now he's got lightning titties. Amazing. This can only end well for me. Just give me a chance to heal. Actually, I haven't used any of my esters yet. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Ah, oh, fuck it. Everything's against me. My square button keeps getting stuck and just spamming whatever's currently, you know, set to square. Oh, I don't need this shit. Not right now. Okay, what the... Oh, you are fucking kidding me, right? <laughs> yeah, great, grand. I finally kill the fat sod. And I find out that ITV's not been receiving any footage for the past, you know, hour or so. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my headache's back in full force as well. Tiny entrance. Statues. I'm assuming that's Gwen. You've got a lot to answer for, dickhead. Now when I get up there, I'm going to give you such a stabbing. King or not. We'll see who's the king when you've got a giant spider fiery claw jammed up your anus. Uh, nothing over there. Ooh, bonfire. Excellent. Excuse me, gentlemen. Just going to activate this. I'll probably do 11 and up as well. Level up, I think. Uh, definitely need... Some more health. If nothing else, it's pointed out to me how drastically I need health. Uh, a bit more attack power wouldn't go amiss either. Really? I can only level up twice with 50k souls? That's pathetic. I need 20,000 to level up again. My god. Uh, well, that's the little elevator, right? Ah, so you, you both had your own individual lifts to get up onto the, uh, the terrace, balcony... Whatever the fuck it is up here then, right? Well, technically speaking, all you needed was the big one. You know, whatever. Because if you've got the money to build these things, you might as well have a go. Right, it's do. the fuck is this? Gwen? Are you? You're a lot... bustier than I was expecting. Huh. Um, hi, I guess? Thou hast journeyed far. Oh, you're talking through a tin microphone as well. Hi. What the fuck? <laughs> We're in the land of Lordran. Everything is giant here. Babies! That's just ridiculous. Those aren't even attached to you, are they? Literally. Did you guys study anatomy at all before you designed that character? You've literally just taken two um, jiggle physics spears and glued them onto the front of the character model, haven't you? Daughter You're Gwyneth, yeah? Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Wait, daughter and queen? What? He married his own daughter? Dude! The Lord Vessel to thee. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, that's a lot better. Oh, yes. And images of having to go back through Sen's feckin' fortress. And inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Um, how? I mean... Your dad's disappeared, I get that, but 
What precisely is he doing or not doing that stops the undead thing? I mean, it's got something to do with the fact the fires are dying out. So what, is your dad just not chucking an extra branch on the fire anymore? No, I got a trophy really just for agreeing to be one of her protectors. Shall serve him as thy guardian. Oh, she's going to be my guardian. How's that work? I shall devote mm. all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Um, thanks, I guess. Covenants haven't particularly been useful to me as of yet. But thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so I was right. He's supposed to be making sure the fire doesn't die out. Because if it does, you know, lives between living and dead break down, everything goes crazy. Blah, 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 blah. And an age of eternal darkness. Ruled over by the mad dead. Boost miracles in. I haven't got any miracles. Yeah. That was completely useless. I'm gonna stick with the ring of protection for the moment, though. Do get anything else? I should. You see, the other bloke I entered into a covenant with offered to teach me spells and things. Now, whatever. Uh, you know, my head is about to burst, so I think that's uh, that's where we're gonna leave it. I do believe. Thank you all for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and shall see you all next time. Bye-bye now.